Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many Kotlin developers encounter. Our viewer is facing an error related to accidental overrides in their code. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help clarify this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. The error message indicates an accidental override due to conflicting method signatures in your Kotlin class. In your class, you have a property named context of type context, which is causing a conflict with the inherited method getContext. To resolve this issue, you can rename your property context to something else, like appContext. This will eliminate the conflict. After renaming, your class should look like this. This change will ensure that there are no conflicting signatures. Finally, make sure to test your code after making these changes to confirm that the error is resolved. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the accidental override issue, simply change the variable name to myContext. This will eliminate any conflicts and everything will work smoothly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To avoid accidental overrides in your code, be cautious when naming parameters. If you name a parameter context, it may conflict with the base class parameter of the same name. A simple solution is to rename your parameter. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the accidental override error, this user removed null checks from the constructor parameters. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve accidental override issues, make sure your target SDK version and compile SDK version are consistent across all modules. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue here is that the return types of the two functions are different. One returns context, while the other returns context with an exclamation mark. To resolve this, simply add the exclamation mark to your code. And that's it, guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.